Babes, have you ever felt overwhelmed by the thought of cleaning your entire house in one go? Well, today's video is here to help you with that, okay? Because I have done this. I have cleaned my house in one day and this entire house, I mean the entire thing except for my boy's room and my mother's room, I'm not touching those two, but the entire house, my body and my mind frame was just out of control. So let's start by acknowledging the messy state of our house. It's a, a daunting task, I know, but we're ready to roll up our sleeves and get down to business. So let's do it. First things first, I'm starting in my daughter's room. She needed a little help. And mommy is here to also give her some motivation and help her do it, which I felt like I did it all on my own. But I took her sheets off. I'm now putting them into the washing machine. And we're going to have that going as we tackle her room. Welcome to our whole house clean with me part one. Yes, I said part one. There's going to be a two and a three. <laughs> anyway, um, as we dive into this cleaning process, you'll see me starting with one room and gradually working my way through every area. Okay. I'll be sharing some tips and some tricks along the way to make the cleaning process more manageable and effective. All right, so we're gonna give ourselves a timer. I'm giving us two and a half hours to tackle her room, the hallway, entryway, whatever, and also the dining room. We're gonna get everything cleaned and wiped down, but first I need to tackle a couple of things in Gabby's room as far as in grabbing a trash bag. So one tip that I do is I grab my trash bag so I don't have to be going back and forth out of the room. I grab it, I put all the garbage in first, then I start with cleaning clothes, toys, stuffed animals, and trying to organize her space. And then we're gonna get everything clean and dusted down. I'm going to use my all-purpose cleaner and this microfiber towel so I can get the table clean and also the lamp. Look how filthy that was. Oh my goodness, I think this room needs a deep clean instead of just a general clean at this point. You're wondering where is her handle? We have went through five different handles. Two did not fit and the others she did not like. So I'm waiting for the one to come in from Amazon now and hopefully this is the one. I have no clue why she has this mess in her window, but we're gonna get it cleaned out. Her flowers are about, what, three weeks old now, so it's time for those to go, and we're gonna get this window cleaned out. Afterwards, I do need to dust her blinds and get those cleaned a little bit. We're not gonna do a deep clean, just the general cleaning in this area right here, and then also cleaning her windows. her ottoman back over here in her reading nook and then putting her pillows on top. I like to work in different spaces. It 
feels more effective and productive for me. Now, one space at a time. So now that that space is clean, we move over to the next step and the other side, which is placing all her clothes on hangers and hanging them up in a closet. And afterwards, we're gonna declutter the floor and her computer table. Now my daughter has two tables in this room. I don't like it. One is her beauty table and the other one is her gaming table. Not my preference. I would have put the computer over there on her beauty table, but she doesn't want it there. I need to find a different way. But anyway, we're gonna declutter all of this, throw some things away, put things where they belong, and then we're cleaning this with our all-purpose cleaner. And we're gonna clean the computer with some glass cleaner. And those picture frames that you guys are seeing, that's for her gallery wall. She's collecting all her pictures that she wants to put over her bed. I've done my best and my worst, learned my lessons No matter how hard my life would treat me I'd always get right back up, never we're moving on into the other space, which is her vanity. And I'm going to remove everything off of here. So we're decluttering and organizing some of this stuff. And I'm going to get it dusted and cleaned down. So you're going to see my daughter pop in here because now she's helping out. She's getting her clothes, the rest of her clothes hung up. She's getting um, some of her stuff off the floor. And we're doing this together. to bring the sheets in here but now I have to vacuum her headboard all around this bed because it was pretty dusty and then I'm going to move over and vacuum clean her chair as well. Last thing in this room is putting on her sheets. They're out of the dryer, they are hot. So now we're gonna put her mattress protector on and then 
we're done. For the moment we've all been waiting for in this chaotic space, this beautiful sparkling transformation, people. Can we get an applause? No? Okay, that's fine. to the next space in this home, we are in the entryway. So I'm going to remove everything off of this table, then I'm going to get it dusted, and we're gonna clean the table down and that mirror. Get scared sometimes. Hope it's not this time. Cause I might go too fast. made it this far with me are you cleaning with me or are you just sitting back watching this video was requested so I want to give you the most motivation and inspiration that I possibly can to get up off that couch out of that bed and get things done placed everything back up here on this entryway table. I just need to dust my books and I use a lint roller to do that. It is more efficient and it helps get all of that dust off. Look at it, look at this lint roller. But anyway, we're gonna start by lighting our candle, which is that very moment that you're saying, I am done. Not yet, okay, not yet. We're not done yet. We gotta clean these doors down. Now, my doors get pretty dirty. I have four kids in this house, so I need, well, three and a half, because I still have my 21 year old in here. So I just need to get these doors clean, and mostly it's boys in here, you know, so they leave it pretty dirty. I'm going to be vacuuming, and then we're gonna get this hallway mopped. I've been thinking about you. Fabuloso in my hot water. Also, I put a little hint of vanilla in here. So I love the way it's making the house smell. It smells so good. You guys should try it. to get all picture frames cleaned and artwork dusted. Because if you don't, then your home is not clean. My tip of the day. 
All right, babes, we're moving on into the dining room. I need to get this table cleaned off. As you can tell, it is the catch all from detergent, stuffed animals, my purse. I mean, this is where I come from my office space. This is where the kids come to, you know, draw or whatever it is they're doing here and eat. So I need to get this clean. Then I need to get my floors clean. I need to vacuum and mop and my window sills. I need to clean those out because it's a lot of nets and flies in my windows that are dead because the guy came in here today and sprayed all along the sideboards and on the outside of the home to get rid of those pesky flies and those nets. I mean, they're waiting at my door to get in. Also, whilst and yellow jags been in my backyard attacking me and my daughter, and I'm not used to that. I'm like, okay, they gotta go. That I'm going to be using in this dining room, which is this all-purpose cleaner and the wood cleaner here for the table. I want to clean this off just a little bit. I don't have to remove everything because I already cleaned this off like four days ago plus last Sunday. So I just need to wipe it down because, of course, the kids were in here. You can see some little spots here. And look, they little toys. <laughs> so I got to get that all cleaned up. And then we're going to use the glass cleaner for the windows because I'm going to get my windows clean. And this. We're going to be putting this in the wall today and see if it also can help us with them just flying around. They see the bright light. I think this has a light to it. I already have one down the hall. Let me show it to you guys. So I have that one that's sitting right there. And I just want to give this one a try. So we'll see what happens. So we're just going to start decluttering this table. Then we're going to move over into the sideboard and get that cleaned up as well. We're not removing anything, like I said. We're just going to wipe it down very quickly. And then we're moving into the windows, cleaning those windows and the floors. So at the end, guys, Let's take a moment to appreciate the progress we've made during this cleaning section. What y'all think? <laughs> have you made any process? If you have, if you're cleaning with me, go ahead and leave me some pink cards down below and let's keep going. You know, at the end, it is truly amazing what a little effort can make such a big difference in the overall appearance and the feeling of our home. I know it does. I'm looking down my hallway right now and it is so clean. I can smell that vanilla off the floors. It smells so good, but let's go ahead and finish this up real quick. It can be a difficult task with us trying to keep our homes clean during the summer. We are trying to be outside. We got our kids at the pools, at amusement parks, and you know, some of our kids are right now, they're in sports, whether it's soccer and baseball or camp. You know, it's hard trying to keep everything tidy, but we have to do our best. We have to be proactive about this. So if we see something that's out of whack, I don't care if it's a throw blanket and a throw pillow is just thrown up there. Go ahead and straighten it out. You know, if you have something on your dining room table, start removing things. If your kids have something on the floors, Inform them, I need you to pick that up and put it back where it belongs, you know, and the kitchen. The kitchen can be one of the dauntingest tasks of them all, you know, because everybody is leaving everything on the countertops. You know, the kids are at home. So the snacks and the snacks, what, what that comes every hour, you know, mom, can I have a snack? And then they leave everything right there on the kitchen counters, you know, have them get in there and put those things away. Assign a chore for them to do so it won't be so much just on you and your spouse. They 
keep on telling lies That is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and what is right We keep Something always goes wrong when you are in the zone. <laughs> Something is always going wrong. Now that chair had no business falling on me. But anyway, we're just going to push this table and keep it moving. I have no time for that. two loads that I was able to get clean which is these clothes some of the bath towels and also some of the cleaning towels we have to try to get these loads down every day every day I am washing something it's endless it's just endless before we wrap this video up I wanted to encourage you to stay tuned for part two of our whole house clean with me make sure to share your own cleaning tips and experiences in the comments below let's support each other in this cleaning adventure Also, before you guys go, I wanted to show you that safer home a fly trap. You know, I want to see if it actually traps the flies and the nets or anything else, <laughs> you know, because I don't have quite a bit on the other one. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that right after we fold these clothes and get these towels folded. It is time for me to get up out of here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not done so already, go ahead and subscribe. What are you waiting for? And until next time, I love you all so much.
Bye.